Hello everybody! Welcome! In, in this episode I'm going to show you how to get and use the Minecraft version changer. This is very useful if you want to upgrade to the pre-release of 1.4 and then go back to 1.3 so you can continue with your world and stuff like that. Basically just type into Google Minecraft version changer and the first one which comes up which is minecraftforum.net, click on that and then scroll down on that page to change log then click download minecraft version changer 1.4.8 underline 6 then wait 5 seconds don't click any of this other stuff even if it says download here because you just don't want to click it now basically just click download minecraft version changer accept and then download I and then just click keep I'm not going to do this as I've already downloaded the end there's no point me having it again basically drag it to your desktop or wherever the how you want to keep it and then click on it don't change it to its default settings or whatever just double click on it and it should come up as this now you have every version that ever came out from the minecraft demo to if I get straight down there the 1.4 pre-release come on <laughs> that is even if you plan to never upgrade or downgrade this is still worth having so let's just say Oh, let's go to beta 1.3, underline 1, change, and you can also download a server so you and your friends can play on it. It's like, oh, <laughs> this is great, honestly. Then you just click it to patch Minecraft to the selected version. Change. You will lose all mods though if you do this, so you might want to make a backup of your dot jar if you want to. Then it should, within seconds, come up with this, and that's it. No dragging around of class files or anything like that. So if we just open Minecraft, it will always do the Minecraft launch because that's how the Minecraft is installed. And look, 1.3 underline what zero one. So that's how you install Minecraft version changer. And that's how you use it. So I hope you've found this useful. And if you have any problems with installing this, using it. Anything like, anything like that, just tell me. Also, it's recommended to make backups of your world first, and don't change future worlds to earlier worlds, because 